Hi everyone, it's Mike and today I'm just going to make a stew in the Dutch oven. So this is another video on our Dutch oven cooking series. So first of all, I'm just going to have to get the fire going. So I've just got a highlighter in here and we're just going to start that up and put some fuel on. So guys what I'll do is we'll let the fire get going and then we'll bring you back for the cooking of the beef and then we will make our stew. So see you in a bit guys. So guys in our skillet we have some stewing beef. This is all pre-diced and everything. Um, and I've just put some oil in there now to help it um, not stick to the skillet. So what we're going to do is just find a nice little place in there where I can still grab the handle and it's still going to stay you know, cold. Um, but the actual skillet will heat up and all we've got to do is brown the meat off. So that's what we're going to do now and then I'll bring you back. So guys, our meat is now nice and browned off if you can see that in there. So that's all good. So now what we need to do is we're finished cooking with the skillet. So we need to get our Dutch oven. We're going to give this a quick spray of oil, not that it'll probably need it but just give it a quick spray and then we can put the beef straight in there like that and we'll let this cool down on the cooling rack if I can open that myself scratch the curtain off so now the stewing beef is in there the next thing we could do to do is sort the fire out so that we're ready to cook on it so it's all gone down to a nice emery base now but what we want to focus on is we want to have a nice hot bed where the Dutch oven can sit and then we want to have some nice embers from the side so that's what I'm going to focus on I think that one will about do so So guys, we've also got some pre-made some pre-made vegetables so they're all chopped up and everything. And we've also got just a casserole mix um, to go in there. So what we want to do is take our Dutch oven. Open that up, bang the veg in there, give it a quick little stir in, make sure it's all flattened out, and then we want to pour this casserole mix in there, like so. We may need 
tiny bit more water in here, but we can do that as we go along. And then all we need to do is grab our lid, like so, and put it straight onto our fire. Take our stick and just make sure everything's sorted out on the fire and we're good to go. Also guys, with it being a Dutch oven, I will take some coals from the fire and put them on top as well. So that should do nicely. So we'll bring you back in a bit guys. So guys, it has chucked it down with rain. And we'll manage to keep the fire going. And if you can hear that in there, it's bubbling away. Um, it did manage to run out of all the broth we originally put in, so we've put some more water in. And hopefully, when I take the lid off, you'll be able to see that in there. Nice and bubbling away. And all I keep doing is putting it on for a few minutes and then taking it off again. So simple as that, really just to stop everything actually like really burning as it is very hot in here so yeah bring it back in a bit guys So guys, it's all done now. Nice advantage of a Dutch oven is the fact that when I stop it keeps bubbling away because it holds the heat for long periods of time. So this has been on the go for a fair few hours now and if you look at that, it's really good. So I think this is ready to plate up. So I'm just going to grab it up. There we go guys, you can all see that there, quality meal cooked in the Dutch oven. So guys, I guess I best go enjoy my meal, so what I will say is thank you for watching, please remember to comment, like and subscribe, I'll see you on the next Dutch oven cooking video.